There are many methods for linking properties in SOLIDWORKS and displaying them in different manners. For example, I have a note here. This note displays the bounding box length. One of the limitations is that I cannot link a property to a note. This could be very useful in many different ways because it, in an assembly, if you want to display a part property in the assembly's description, there's no way to do that. The best way to do it would be to create a note and attach it to that part and then display that property in the note, but there's still no way of linking that note to the property. So I've created this macro to bridge that gap. The way it works is I select a note, I click my macro button, and I type in a, a name for the property I want to link it to. Be aware, this will delete any contents of the existing description. Now when I click Add Note and look at the feature tree, I can see this symbol shows up here. This macro creates a macro feature which on rebuild puts this value into the note. So if I look at my custom properties now, it created two. It created the description as a configuration specific property and it put that value in there. If I look at the custom property, it also created this one and that's simply linking this detail item one to the description. So now, if I change the length and rebuild, then all I have to do is make sure that the properties update successfully. So first off, I'm going to update the cutlass. I'm going to check the cutlass properties. I see that the bounding box length is updated, and now my note has updated. And I can check the custom property has updated as well.